Welcome to Detroit. And welcome to the Henry Ford Museum. It's very cold outside, but the museum's inside, so let's, let's go inside. Yeah, what color should we make all the vehicles in this room? How about all red? Let's make them all red. Okay, what color should we make the things in this room? All black. Oh, the holidays. This here is a driverless bus. As you can see, it's also a passengerless bus. It's just an empty bus. That's a long car. This is a uh, canopy from the 1964 New York World's Fair, which uh, is where Disney, the company, um, spent a lot of uh, time and effort in making uh, so many attractions like this is my world and the characters of progress. They would later become classics of, of Disneyland and would push the boundaries of what they were able to do in their theme park. So this is a piece of history that I don't really particularly care about the IBM booth, but it comes from a really cool place. Plus, we have a little bit more uh, room in our museum. What's our next exhibit? Booth? Furniture. Just furniture? Yes, all furniture. I want so much furniture. You have no idea how much furniture I have just sitting in my house. I need to put all of it in the museum. It's all furniture. Put all of it in the room. Okay, I guess. That's all furniture. So much furniture. You have no idea how cool furniture is. I mean, chairs? Amazing. These chairs? No idea. I feel like I'm at IKEA. I wasn't sure why this exhibit was here, but then the light bulb turned on. Record players! I love record players! Cornelius Vanderbilt, you sit on a throne of... Is that wood? I don't... Whatever it is, it looks very uncomfortable. Gotta love the moving picture theater. I love moving pictures. They're so good. The quality, too. The biggest thing I love about Hollywood is just how many souvenirs they have. Snoopy! Okay, it's time to stop. What building material should we use for this room? Brick. Just only brick. Why is that the American Horror Story logo font? It's... So I'm gonna die here, but are you okay? You haven't moved in a while. So I've been thinking, if the Henry Ford stumbled across a night at the museum situation and all the exhibits came alive, obviously we'd be fine with all the chairs and stuff, that wouldn't be a problem. But the car exhibit could be worried. Because there are one of two options you might run into. One, the car is coming alive, which means they turn on, but there's no driver, so we're fine. The other option is that this is a car starring Owen Wilson situation, and the cars become sentient and have eyes instead of windshields. And that could be concerning, especially if, you know, for, for every Lightning Queen that's just trying to race, there might be a car trying to kill you. And if you do a room full of cars trying to run you over, that could be a problem. For us to consider. Oh, except me, of course. My party is actually on the other side of the museum, so you know what time it is. Actually, you don't, because this is the first time I've done this, but it's time for quick count. We're here. Amazing. That was so fast. All aboard. This is not the Polar Express. Okay, I take back what I said about the uh, cars being the most terrifying part of a night at the museum situation. I think the trains would be terrifying. Look at these things. They crush you in an instant. This may be the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, this this was created by the uh, Michigan Lego Users Group. So good job, y'all. This is fantastic. This is the Polar Express. I feel like it's not. Now it's much later. I have, I've had some dinner and now we're here in Greenfield Village right next door to the Henry Ford Museum for an uh, after hours Christmas party. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, it's very cold outside, but I mean, that's Michigan. So uh, I'm trying to see what the night has in store. I'm not sure quite how long we'll stay, but uh, I'm looking forward to how long we do stay. Main Street's all uh, decorated for Christmas. We've got some Model T's coming charging at you. Nice little place. Really good, and uh, those instruments weren't uh, the instruments you could just pick up in a mall. They had to learn specifically how to play those historical instruments. That's really cool. Hot chocolate. As long as we don't want to cool, we should be all good. That's cool. Trains. I love trains. Who are you gonna call? But it's it's, it's Christmas, so um, uh, Mickey, uh, uh, maybe maybe the the, the Grinch. Uh, oh, I'll be I'll be I'll be the Santa Claus. It's the Cozy Con Motel. The Santa Claus. And there's more cars than you missile. He's a cool character, I like him. Anyway, life is, is indeed a highway. This makes three really good model trains in one day. And this place has, has got some really good model train stuff going on. I'm very impressed. That was a uh, 
a retelling of a Christmas carol. I love carols again. Uh, it was a retelling of a Christmas carol by one guy. It's actually really cool. Uh, and there was one guy who was basically trying to retell that entire story by himself, you know, doing all the voices and managed to play all the characters. And, you know, it wasn't the most, you know, full of depth because, you know, one guy was still doing all these voices. But it was very good. Uh, it was very enjoyable. Uh, it, it was neat. It was, it, it was a cool little man show type thing. I enjoyed it. I'm very dark. You can't see me. But uh, that's fine. I realized I forgot to film the conclusion, but uh, the event was really cool. Uh, it felt very authentic, like the people putting it together knew what they were doing. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun, there was a lot to do, from, from, from the caroling to the, the hot chocolate, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the whole experience was really cool. I had a Ford Museum, I had a lot to do. Uh, Greenfield Village is a really cool place, and the, the Christmas event was really cool. So, I mean, if, if you're in Detroit, you need something to do, it's more of a day of fun, and it's part of me like in the elevator. Um, come down to the uh, Ford Museum, there, go to the and all the houses and the they have them. If it's, you know, the Christmas season, and buy a party and get some hot chocolate and eat and carols. It's really fun. I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, thumbs up for me. Anyway, bye.